Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting close to the uh, the big USA tour, Arm Fights Unleashed 3.0, but also Arm Fights Unleashed 2.0, which is about to happen in a couple of days' time. So I thought it was a good time to go over the new set of rules um, that Pound for Pound Arm Wrestling is adopting um, for the Arm Fights Unleashed series, and to kind of highlight the changes in what you guys are used to. Now, of course, um, we've seen WAF, we've seen WAL, we've seen everything in between. Um, here's how pound for pound arm wrestling is going to run and here's why we're doing it. Okay, so w first of all, setups are going to be essentially WAF style setups. Okay, so we're talking strict setups. We're talking rules that can be really policed heavily by the referee. Okay, so they might be talking about, okay, if they're telling you to straighten your wrist and you don't straighten your wrist, okay, they're going to say foul. You must attempt to take a grip. There is no sitting there deliberately playing for a referee's grip. We want to see arm wrestling happen both outside of the strap and inside of the strap. Okay, we don't want it to just be default, go to ref grip, go to straps. None of this set grip stuff. We want people to negotiate their own grips because I feel like that is a really big part of arm wrestling and I don't want to lose that. So one minute, strict one minute before a referee's grip will be called. If you are deemed by the referee not to be attempting to take a grip, you will be fouled. Okay, so you must attempt to take a grip. Now, once you've got that grip, again, early movements, things like that will be called fouls. Okay, we want really strict refereeing here, like WAF would do. Okay, what we're going to add in addition to that is the running foul. WIL has the running foul. And uh, WALL also has three fouls, okay? We're going to adopt those two things, okay? So there are going to be three fouls in all Arm Fights Unleashed Super Match Series. And we are going to have uh, running fouls as well. So for those who aren't familiar with the running foul, should you be called on an elbow foul at any time during your match, you must pin your opponent to get a restart. If you're unable to pin your opponent and the other guy wins, obviously they win. The reason I like the running foul is that the worst thing on the planet for me is when someone pins their opponent, but because their opponent did this little tiny elbow foul as they were losing, the match restarts and you gotta go again. So that gets rid of that. But there is a problem with the running foul and we have an addition, a new rule, brand new to arm wrestling, that I'm calling the professional foul. Now, the, the, the reason we're introducing the professional foul is to stop problems like what we saw with Devin Larratt against Matt Mask in round four of their recent super match with the WAL. The problem stems from the running foul. Because people are able to running foul, like Devin drag. Devin was about to be pinned by Matt Mask in a flop press. Devin, instead of being pinned and losing that round, drags his elbow like a foot off the back of the table and then adds the side pressure once Matt was truly separated. So a prof professional foul, he used, he used a deliberate foul way off the pad to pin and get the running foul restart. Okay, so we want none of that because that to me is really against what arm wrestling is. It's against the spirit of arm wrestling. So the professional foul is an instant loss, okay? It doesn't matter that there's three fouls. If you get called for a professional foul, it is an instant loss. The round goes to your opponent. So hopefully that'll mean that only the only fouls that will not be deemed professional fouls will be the little bubbles, the accidental fouls. Hopefully that gets rid of the big deliberate fouls. Now the other thing is regarding, I know a lot of people talking about the King's move has been very popular of late. The King's move for me is part of the sport. Love it or hate it, it is part of the sport. Now, what I'm going to ask of all my referees in this series is to police the shoulder rule when it comes to the height of the table. So, um, shoulders cannot go below the table in a neutral or defensive position. I, I agree with that. I like that. Now, if a referee sees your shoulders go below the table, what we've typically seen happen is the referee says, stand up, stand up, and kind of just repeats that warning, stand up, stand up never does anything about it. Now, arm wrestlers being arm wrestlers, we're gonna always continue to push the boundaries for as much as we can, get every advantage as we can, whilst ever the referee is allowing it to happen and not actually failing it. So, three fouls, remember, 
And here's what's going to happen. If a referee deems your shoulders, i.e. both shoulders, need, it needs to be both shoulders. If a referee deems that both your shoulders have gone below the surface of the tabletop, they will just call a foul. Okay, they're not going to say stand up so-and-so. So if I'm down here in the king's move, my opponent's on the tack, and I drop to there, there we go. They're just going to say foul straight away. There is no stand-up warning. It's just foul. So that's going to put the onus back on the arm wrestlers to make sure they don't go into that position. Okay. All right. So I, I can't wait. I can't wait um, to see how the referees police all these rules, but I do feel that it's going to really improve the product. We're going to have the, the benefits of the strict setups of WAF. We're going to see the grip negotiations. We're not just going to default to a set grip. And we're going to see a lot of the pure battles because I think a lot of the sport of arm wrestling is that setup. I think that the disciplines, the strengths required, the skill required to win that setup is truly a fabric of the sport that I don't want to see gone. Okay, the running foul. I love the running foul. Let's see pins happen. I hate seeing matches lost on elbow fouls. Nothing worse. And the professional foul gets rid of those truly ugly fouls that we've seen um, exploited when people are arm wrestling under those conditions. So that's the rules. Arm Fights Unleashed 2.0 is only two days away. Jordan Davis, Lachlan Adair, Sam Burnett, Mickey Lonsarovic. And then, of course, the big USA Tour kicking off in only a matter of weeks now, the USA East Coast Tour, headlined by Sabin Badalescu against Travis Bajant. Unbelievable match. Um, we got myself up against Dan Mosier, Paul Lynn against Paul Talbot, both left and right, and good friend Justin Bishop up against Alex Beziazikov. Um, it's going to be an amazing match. Can't wait to see it. And, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you again very, very soon.